Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Super quick tutorial today um, and I wanted to show you how you could use different currencies. So let's say that you have your data with different columns for different currency conversions and um, once you have those columns how would you change it in the front end? For example here I have something called currency and I have my total sales right now it's showing in USD because I have a column called total sales underscore USD and I just want to change it. Now I want to see it in Europe. So I make a selection here and now the sales is actually in Europe. What if I want to change it? I want to see it in pounds and I just go here and make the selection and it changes. Now I have these conversions already. I'm not using a conversion table for it. Instead, my data already comes from a system which has different columns for different currencies. So uh, let's see how to do that in the front end, like how to change it to different currencies and make sure that your sales changes. Interested? Stick around. So let's have a look at how my data looks like. First of all, so this is how my data looks like. I have order IDs and then I have sales amount, which already has different conversions. For example, it says sales amount euro, sales amount pounds, same sales amount USD. And a bunch of others so um, how would how would you connect this to a selection so let's see how to do that so this is how the data is coming from in the database so I have something called sales underscore amount now we're not going to use a currency conversion table because in some ERP systems the currency is already there right so we're just going to take that for now and I'm going to make a different video where how to use a currency conversion um, conversion table now here I have something called sales amount underscore USD great pounds euros INR and I want to change it in the front end like I showed you here so essentially what we want is here we want this first part to be the same that is sales amount and only part that changes is the last bit here right so what do we do? Well, essentially what we could do is we're going to keep this much as the same and the last part over here, we are going to change it based on the selections that we make in the front end. So we need to create something that can change automatically based on a selection and a couple of values for that. So essentially what it is, is this can be written as sales amount underscore currency selection right so and this currency is can be equal to usd can be euro can be inr whatever it is right so essentially what we need to think about is keep the first part as it is and then we're just changing the last part based on our selection so let's see how we could do that um, and of course if you already thought oh we can use a variable then 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 that's exactly right so we could use currency so we could say something called v currency as a variable and assign values to this v currency based on a selection and that automatically selects the right column that we want from our data set so i'm going to remove this and let's do it step by step i'm going to go back here and here first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to set a variable so set v currency what is v currency is equal to well v currency is equal to um it's nothing but underscore currency because we want that part to change right the end underscore currency so we're just going to say sales amount and then replace the last part by underscore currency so we go here but we we can't put it just like this because it's going to be an execution in the front end so i'm going to say put only and I'm going to close the bracket here. And what does only do? Well, only essentially just brings, since it's going to be a measure, what only does is it's just like sum or max or min. Only means basically just bring the value. Means don't add anything, don't do anything, just bring whatever the value it is. So, and since it's going to be a measure, I'm going to add an extra equal to sign here. And you will realize what we do. So basically, V currency is equal to equal to only underscore currency but what is this currency well currency is we want to change it to usd inr eur correct 
So we need to change that, but we don't have it. So I'm going to say, what is underscore currency? Well, underscore currency should be USD or whatever we want, right? So let's create a table for it. How do we create a table? Well, we could do currency as load. Let's do an inline load and add our currencies there. So an inline load. And what is the name of the table? Well, it should be underscore currency. So I'm going to put the name as underscore currency. And what are the currencies that we want? That is the last part of our column that is USD. Good. So one of the currency is USD. The other one is Euro. Euro. The other one is pounds. The other one is INR. So these are the currencies that I want. So USD, EUR, pounds, INR. These are nothing but underscore currencies. Underscore currency based on the selection is going to be stored into V currency. That is our variable. Now it doesn't have to be underscore currency. It's just the name you're giving. You can just give it the name that you want. Um, but when we are concatenating it here, we need to use an underscore later on. So I'm going to load it now. Good. Now let's go to the front end. This is my KPI and this is what I want to change based on the different columns, right? Based on my selections. So first I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, I'm going to go into my currency or my currency measure. So over here it's sales underscore amount underscore and the currency, right? And these are our currencies here, USD, euros, pounds, and our variable is V currency. So essentially V currency is what I want to substitute inside this. So I'm going to say we have sales amount. We don't really, you know, need all of this. Let's remove it for now. We say sales amount and underscore. Yes. What do we want? You see that it is Euro, Euro, pounds, INR, USD. So you have those four columns, but you don't want it because you want to make the selections in the field automatically. So you're going to say dollar V currency. So you have a variable. So whatever the variable is selected, I'm going to close this now. Nothing is selected. So sales amount underscore V currency. What is V currency? Well, V currency can be USD, it can be Euro, it can be Pound, it can be INR, that's from my table. And how is this variable set? It's set based on my selections and we'll add that next. So right now it is sales underscore amount, dollar expansion of whatever the variable is selected. I'm going to click on apply. I have zero sales, of course. Why? Because right now it is sales underscore amount and V currency, but no selection is made. So essentially this is how it looks like. And that is not a column, right? So if you see here, none of the column ends with just an underscore. It ends with an underscore and the currency that you want. So now I'm going to go into my fields here and in the fields, I'm going to drag and drop a currency field here. And now you see that this is the currency. So when I make a selection here, the variable V currency gets updated to the selections selection that I have made. And in turn, this particular measure is going to get updated by the selections that I make. So over here, this V currency gets updated based on whatever I make a selection over here. So let's see how that would be. I'm going to say Euro, make a selection and voila. Now you see the sales. Why? Because EUR has been substituted in place of my variable v currency so essentially v currency over here has been execute, uh, executed to eur now what if i change it i go here i say gbp and now this has been substituted now there's one issue because if you see here i can actually make multiple selections and then it would be wrong right it wouldn't work so for the currency, it's always better that you say only one selection has to be made. And how can you do that? Well, I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into my fields. The field is currency field here. I'm going to 
go to settings here and here I say always one selected value that means for this particular field I only want one value to be selected and that one value has has to always be selected so I cannot always leave it blank so I'm going to click on save and let's say done and now if you see here there is a small little selection that means that something is always selected so even if I remove this part here it's always going to show up so there is no cancel here if you can see so there is no cancel even if I do cancel it's going to be selected and now if I select another one it just changes right it doesn't it doesn't multi select instead it only selects one particular value so that's how you can do it now you could just change it if you have more currencies you could add it to the list but just make sure that your data looks like this so in the next video I'm gonna make another video where you could take a regular local currency like this sales amount and then convert it on the go um, with a different currency conversion table so that's something different and um, well in a lot of ERP systems you already get the data which is converted at that point of sale into different currencies so um, this is how you can do it to make selections for it in your front end now there's one small thing you could do again here you don't know what the sales is right you need to look on top and see that the currency selected is USD so let's make it a little more simpler I'm gonna go into my headings here total sales I'm gonna say total sales in so what is the total sales in and I'm gonna say and yeah what is it well dollar v currency and I'm gonna close it click on apply and now it says total sales in USD if I change it it changes to total sales in euros hope that was helpful please leave a like I would really really appreciate it and um, check out for the link below for my new course um, you're gonna learn a ton I promise you again thanks for the support please leave a like and cheers see you in the next one peace